Quick interview. Quick interview. Come on. You in, in the. Mr. Clark, it's being held at your facility. How do you feel about that? Oh, she's already live. Oh, she's I'm already honored to, uh, uh, to be the host of this great event. I think it's an annual event um, that Congressman Thompson holds. And um, again, we're just honored today to choose where to build high school to host this event. Will any of your students participate in just watching? Or? Well, so we have a couple of classes that are coming, and I have a student that is participating. I don't know which piece of art is he is. Mr. Chan, um, do you know? Um, I know that we have uh, almost 20 entries uh, on behalf of Green Public School District. It's just a privilege and an honor to annually host this event here. Um, it goes without saying that we are extremely proud to host this here on, on behalf of uh, uh, Congressman Thompson in the 2nd Congressional District. Uh, Mr. Clerk has uh, graciously allowed for multiple classes to come, and uh, we look forward to this being just uh, another great event here for Green Public School District. Thank you. And it's always a great day to be here. Thank you. Always, always a great day to what? To be a hornet. <laughs> Say it again. It is always a great day to be a hornet. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and he walked off like a model, y'all. <laughs>
So we are going to go to a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we will see the art that is on display closely. The Mike Magazine will be coming to you with more exclusive interviews. Guess who's going to be next? I guess we will never know. Stay tuned to Delta Sip. Angela Buckney here, the voice behind the mic. Delta Sip, where we sip slow and talk what we know. And if you need a commercial, let me know. Want to advertise? Not a problem. We have affordable rates. Call 662-207-2077. The views and opinions expressed in this channel are those of the speaker and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of any entities they may represent or affiliate with. Demarcus Peoples is an up-and-coming actor who is highly sought after in the film industry. Demarcus Peoples is from a small town in the great state of Mississippi. Some are feel in Carroll County to be exact. He's known to some as an avid hunter and others as a police chief who travels the Chitlin circuit performing under the alias D'Lo Brown. Just recently, DeMarcus Peoples was cast into the comedy drama Joe's College Road Trip, set to premiere on Netflix, headed up by none other than Tyler Perry himself. Prior to his Tyler Perry gig, he landed a role on Twisted Games, which is a drama directed and produced by Robert Earl Parker III. And now here's a message from DeMarcus Peoples. I'm glad to be a, a proud Mississippi country boy, but first, without God, I would not be where I am today. Must get him the praises. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned and follow all my social media for all my updates at D-E-L-O space B-R-O-W-N. Check your boy out. And once again, thanks for y'all support. Stay tuned because there's more to come. Here we are, look at the artwork. This is number 16 on exhibit. And we have number 15. Number 14. Number 13 with the pink hair. Number 12, we have different type of fabric and paper on this medium. 
you know, I usually see this type of art in the hospital, Delta Regional Hospital. And this is just so amazing to see. And look at this, number 10 has real hair coming from it. Well, you know what I mean. So many different ways that you can do art. When I think of art, I think about Bob Ross, right? But this here has gone to a whole nother level. And I forgot what they call it when you mix, you mix the art with other types of uh, material. It may be called mixed medium art. I don't know. I have to look that up. But these children are so creative. And they are from different schools. It says, let us not wallow in the valley of despair. And it just goes on and on and on. This looks like it has clay on it. Man, this is just awesome. It says letter from Birmingham Jail. And then we have some art right here. It's pretty dark art. Now this seems to be like a filter that was cut and they were still able to get art on it. It's just so different. This looks like Kansas City logo. Kansas City Chief logo. And we have Lincoln. It's like drawing with a pencil. This looks like straight pencil. No color. So amazing. So that is the art that is on display here. And again, you heard from Mr. Clerk and you also heard from Mr. Chen. Um, just grateful that Greenville High School is hosting the art exhibit slash competition. This is some amazing art. Let's come down some. You can see it in the distance. And it appears to be 16 entries. Congressman Thompson is here. Congressman, can I get a quick interview about the sure. All right, so let me get you to stand right here. Okay. So, am I that tall? Listen, <laughs> I don't know why when you get in front of my camera, I'm always having technical. Challenges. Yes, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> it is so good to have you here in the Delta. See ya. Look at that. You you did something for that tripod. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I, I did that. Talk, I know. <laughs> talk a little bit about how long you've been doing this and why is it so important to continue to incorporate art in education? Well, we've been doing this for almost 30 years. Oh, wow. Here in wow. Uh, we joined other members of Congress. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Oh, this started. Did that? Okay. Oh, you know y'all. Mm, we live. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Come on, Congressman. Say, uh, talk that talk, Congressman. Over well, 30 years. Well, for 30 years, we've had the art contest for students in the second congressional district. Mm -hmm. uh, this is part of a national program where the House of Representatives uh, highlight the talent in terms of the arts that we have uh, in their respective districts. Mm -hmm. What 
we will have with the winner of today's contest that they'll be able to go uh, and come to Washington oh, along wow. with a, a, a host and compete nationally. Mm -hmm. Now the beauty of it is the national winner uh, will get a four year scholarship oh, wow. uh, to uh, the Savannah School of Art and, and Design, mm -hmm. which is one of the premier schools in the country. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, uh, join a career mm -hmm. uh, in art. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, just painting, mm -hmm. but it could be graphics, it could mm -hmm. be uh, a number of things. See, but, see, Congressman, when I thought about art coming up, I always thought about Bob Ross first because public broadcasting right. allowed us to see right. art. But today I'm seeing that they're doing the type of art that Bob Ross didn't do. Like they have hair oh. coming from the art and different sheets of paper that's colored and I mean they took it to a whole nother They're level. They're taking, taking it to another level and one of the things with uh, creativity mm -hmm. is it's the expression mm -hmm. that go with it mm -hmm. and so for our young people uh, who might not be athletically inclined mm -hmm. uh, they can pursue careers in art mm -hmm. a lot of opportunity so much of it can be done working at home. That's uh, right. Uh, and so that remote opportunity for employment mm -hmm. is also there. Why, now, let's talk a little bit about buying art from our babies. Mm -hmm. Do you think that for some of those who may not want to go to college and want to stay around Mississippi in the second congressional district, do you can you foresee this being some type of way of them getting income? Well, there's no question about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know of people around the country mm -hmm. who have had an opportunity to mm -hmm. uh, express themselves who making a good living. Mm -hmm. And so what you have to do, uh, uh, communities uh, like here in Greenville and mm -hmm. Clarksdale, Cleveland, mm -hmm. Greenwood, mm -hmm. Indianola, we have to encourage our young people to be the best that they can be. Absolutely. Uh, Everybody can't be a scientist. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody can't be a doctor. Everybody can't be a lawyer. But so, when we see that mural painted in Birmingham, hello. we see a mural in Indianola. And, and, and so what we have to do as a community is work with our young people. Mm -hmm. uh, one mm -hmm. of the things we want to do, some of our school systems have mm -hmm. uh, excluded art. Mm -hmm. So we want them to bring it back into the curriculum gotcha. uh, as one of those offerings because mm -hmm. who knows, uh, we might have one of those very, very talented individuals mm -hmm. that we can't develop because they don't have a vehicle for that development to occur. Exactly. So this is our opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done it for a number of years, mm -hmm. as I've said, but the beauty of it is the winner mm -hmm. will come to Washington. Uh, they will go through various settings. Will they fly? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, along with uh, a chaperone, mm -hmm. a parent, a teacher, whomever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they spend two days in Washington, mm -hmm. uh, but they get to meet other young people mm -hmm. uh, from other uh, parts of the country mm -hmm. who have participated in, in art contests in that district and won. Mm -hmm. And then for a whole year, that work is on display mm -hmm. at the United States Capitol. Also allows them an opportunity to network because social media brings us so close together. Well, and, and you know, uh, that ne networking is so important mm -hmm. uh, because most people hone their skills talking and interacting with somebody else who's doing it. That's right. So it's an opportunity uh, that we think is uh, really wonderful okay. for young people who uh, in the public schools mm -hmm. here in uh, the second district. So we're excited that we have some submissions. Mm -hmm. Our judges uh, will look at it and at some point we'll Determine. announce the winner. Mm -hmm. And the winner, as I said, will go to Washington for two days, mm -hmm. interact with all kinds of people from all over the United States. Mm -hmm. And then they'll have bragging rights when they come back. Absolutely. Have you had a, an opportunity to look at the exhibits? Oh, I, look, I'm always amazed mm -hmm. at the talent. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have here in the second district mm -hmm. and actually uh, we have had a, a winner of the national contest uh, to compete go to savannah school of art mm -hmm. and design and is now 
working in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, wow. Uh, the unfortunate thing, we didn't get him back to Mississippi. Uh -huh. But from a career standpoint, yes. it all started right here at, at this uh, program that we have here in Greenville. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Congressman. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Look at these trophies. And that, those trophies say, the one in the middle says, Benny says Congressman Benny G. Thompson Art Competition 2024. First place and then to your right you have second place and to the left third place. Sheriff, I want to ask you a question, and I want you to be honest with me. When you ride along the county, do you see graffiti? We call it graffiti art uh, on bridges and possibly trains. Trains. Um, you ever thought that they could enter into something like this, this type of contest, uh, some of the younger people, and, and become uh, famous for some of their art that we're seeing around, you know? I would love to see that happen. Mm -hmm. Actually, that we the guys were always talking about that just a few months ago. Mm -hmm. You called me. Oh there. wow! We was talking about the train. Yes. We about the bridge. We was also talking it's about everywhere. It. Art is everywhere. We was talking about the walls inside of the prison. So, uh huh. You know, yes. Sometimes they ain't got nothing to do. They drive on the wall. Mm -hmm. And I said, look at the good talent they got. Yes. And I go back to see him time. It was uh, around 2008. I believe. Mm -hmm. so we had inmates. In the jail, and I had a billboard across the street, mm -hmm. and I had an inmate in the jail. Mm -hmm. And he took a pencil and he drove me just as was on that billboard. Oh wow! Just how much talent! That's there. talent. And 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 what I was talking to the congressman about is they can actually get paid sure. for their talent. I have a young man who actually donated a picture to me and my family from Parchment, a Parchment inmate. And I hold that so near and dear to me.